All right, the blockade of the Coastal Gas Link Pipeline Project by hereditary chiefs of the Wet'suwet'en First Nation in Northern BC. This is a tricky political problem for John Horgan and his NDP government. On the one hand, Horgan has promised a new era of reconciliation with First Nations. The BC government is the first in Canada to enshrine into law the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, or UNDRIP. So this is a very important file for the Horgan government. On the other hand, the uh, Horgan government's also a big booster of the LNG Canada mega project. This is the biggest in Canadian history, $40 billion. The Coastal Gas Link pipeline is crucial to that project. No pipeline, you got no LNG project. So what is Horgan going to do? He's stuck on this. Well, what he will do is he will stay out of it. So watch for the government to say that this dispute does not involve them. This involves the hereditary chiefs of this First Nation and the gas and the pipeline company and the courts and the RCMP. They will say it's got nothing to do with the government. Unfortunately for the NDP here, you got Forest Minister Doug Donaldson has actually visited the protest camp last year. He actually brought them a, a box of food and supplies. And now he says he was not there to support them in blocking a road or defying a court injunction. He was there trying to calm the situation down. The Liberals, though, are still demanding that Horgan fire Donaldson. A couple of reasons for that. Maybe the Liberals think they can win that riding that he represents in Stikin, which could be tough, but it, that would be a huge win for the Liberals if they could do that. The other thing to keep in mind is that Donaldson's the forest minister. The forest industry is taking an absolute pounding here in British Columbia. The liberals want to attack this forest, forest minister at every opportunity, make him look weak and make him look ineffective. So that is what's going on. That's your crucial background and context on this story. One more quick prediction for you, though. I predict that John Horgan will likely shuffle his cabinet very soon and he will remove Donaldson as the forest minister. So watch for that. I think BC is going to get a new forest minister here in the next few weeks.